going on today guys we are back again with another video it's going to be real quick today but we wanted to show you guys or explain to you guys how you guys can save a buck when it comes to buying pokemon cards now this is a great video for new collectors new people kind of getting into the hobby of collecting and stuff like that uh, so this is a great video for you guys and let's jump right on into things here so if you're like me and you kind of are newer and you jumped in what you may be trying to do is get a mass collection of Pokemon cards to start with. Uh, and realistically speaking, if you went out to the store and you bought single booster packs and even sets, to get a mass amount of cards, it would be very, very expensive very, very quickly. Now, to kind of get the best bang for your buck and save some dollars is go ahead onto your local marketplaces like Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji, eBay, stuff like that and find people that are selling their whole collection avoid the ads of the people that are selling single cards and you know a big bundle of cards because that means that they have done the price research they've done the research and you're not really going to get very much good things in this bundle of cards find the people that you know the ads um the people that have posted ads that are selling you know a computer and a laptop and some clothes and you know a coffee maker and then the bundle of pokemon cards if you do that i promise you guys you won't be upset you'll get all sorts of cards from different series we've done it a few times and two out of the like five times that we've bought local sets of pokemon cards that were massive sets Basically, we ended up getting everything from VMAX cards to uh, old cards from like 1996 all the way up. Um, we've got things from like all sorts of different sets, you know, things from the late 2000 or early 2000s. Uh, it honestly, it is a awesome way to get a big mass amount of Pokemon cards for fairly cheap. Now again, guys, just to sum that up, it was that you just go on and you, and I really want to emphasize, you need to buy the collections, the people that are just selling the rest of their Pokemon cards, their whole collection. I need to emphasize that for you guys, because you, if you guys won't get the best deal if you just buy the guys' common cards. You need to buy the people that are selling, or go out and buy the ads of the people that are selling all their Pokemon cards for, you know, 20 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever it may be uh, because I promise you guys you guys will find cool things doing it that way until next time we'll talk to you later peace